In the realm of haunted objects, few names evoke as much chilling fascination as Annabelle. A seemingly innocent raggedy and dull, shrouded in a history of terror and the subject of Hollywood horrors, Annabelle's true story is far more unsettling than fiction. The real Annabelle doll is a vintage raggedy and doll that was allegedly possessed by the spirit of a deceased girl named Annabelle Higgins. According to the Warrens, a famous couple of paranormal investigators, the doll exhibited strange and malicious behavior, such as moving on its own, leaving messages, and attacking people. The Warrens claimed that the doll was not just haunted, but demonically infested, and that it needed to be exorcised and locked away in their occult museum. The story of the haunted Annabelle doll begins in 1970, when Donna, a young nurse, received the doll as a birthday gift from her mother. She brought it to her apartment that she shared with her roommate, Angie. At first, the doll seemed harmless and cute, but soon, the women noticed that it would move around the apartment, change its position, and even leave notes that said, help us, or help Lou. Lou was Donna's fiancé, who hated the doll and felt threatened by it. One night, he woke up from a nightmare and felt something strangling him. He saw the doll on his chest, staring at him with evil eyes. He managed to throw it off, but then he saw deep claw marks on his chest that bled profusely. The next day, they disappeared as if they never existed. Donna and her roommate, Angie, were also plagued by scratches, nightmares, and an oppressive feeling of dread. It wasn't playful. It felt, malevolent. Like something was trying to reach out, to possess us. We called a medium, hoping for answers. What she told us sent chills down our spines. Donna's terror leads her to the doorstep of Ed and Lorraine Warren, renowned paranormal investigators. The Warrens, convinced of the doll's demonic infestation, conduct an exorcism, banishing the entity from the apartment. But they know Annabelle is far from neutralized, we felt an immense darkness emanating from the doll. It was unlike anything we'd encountered before. That entity, it thrives on chaos and possession. We knew confining it was the only way to protect others. Annabelle now resides in the Warren's Occult Museum, locked away behind reinforced glass with a warning scrawled across, strictly do not touch. Though contained, her malevolent influence has been documented. Visitors report unexplained chills, whispers, and even physical attacks. Even in that secure case, something about Annabelle, it unsettles you. The air crackles with an unnerving energy. However, not everyone believes that the Annabelle doll is truly haunted or evil. Some skeptics argue that the doll's movements and messages can be explained by psychological factors, such as fear, suggestion, and confirmation bias. They also point out that the Warrens had a history of exaggerating and fabricating their cases, and that they used the doll as a prop to gain fame and money. They accused the Warrens of exploiting the public's fascination with the paranormal and creating a myth around the doll that inspired several horror movies and books. Separating fact from fiction in the Warrens' cases is often difficult. But the Annabelle story, regardless of its origins, taps into a primal fear of the unknown, the idea that even a child's toy can harbor something chillingly malevolent, whether possessed by a vengeful spirit or merely a catalyst for our primal fears. Annabelle's story serves as a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the most unexpected places. So, the next time you stumble upon a vintage raggedy and doll, remember the chilling legend of Annabelle, and perhaps think twice before welcoming her into your home.